um, we have a nice agenda, and if anyone wants to add anything, just no. But the first order of business will be to approve minutes. But first, I just need to ask: Is there anyone who didn't have a chance to approve minutes? Wants more time? We have two sets of minutes to approve. They are from March and April. Um, I shared them with you all earlier today, so that's not a lot of notice. So if anyone <laughs> at all, so if anyone wants more time, that is fine. Or uh, has any questions or corrections? Do you have a paper copy? I do. Okay, so I mean they're so short we could literally just read them out. Yeah, the ones March and oh. April. <clears throat> While we're passing those around in person, I'm just going to say thank you very much to Susan for coordinating an amazing financial literacy event. It was great. And um, I thought the panelists were really informed, really energetic, had great answers to people's questions. I learned a lot. about <laughs> y'all. Thanks to Janine for taking photos. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you to Courtney for all of your support. Yeah. And just, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> and keeping me calm, right, Courtney? <laughs> and honestly, I mean, it often takes many hands, and I don't know if I know everyone who, who you know, uh, volunteered and helped out. And I mean, of course, thanks to the AAUW and Meg as well. Um, but I thought it was a great event. I loved the range. Like, yeah. there was, girl, like, women in their early 20s, women in later years in life, and it was just one guy. It was just right. <laughs> It was just really incredible. And there was that other guy that I think was Marymount staff that was like, he could have bumped a chair. It was just really a great event. I learned so much, and I, I feel like people really felt empowered from all the conversation. You know, I'm glad it, it had a spread of people, and the important thing, I think, is just to trigger something in your mind, like Rachel with Rach, you can tell what you did, but just to think ahead and, oh, I could do this, and it happened. So, hopefully, who knows where this will go, but uh, I've got a few comments when I'll speak, but Rachel, do you want to just say what you did? Uh, so, so I want Susan, I just met several times and just had some brainstorm sessions. Is that what you mean, Susan? No, 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 no. What yeah. you did to your 401k. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> you want me to tell my story? So um, so I thought it was a great panel conversation. And so I actually increased my distribution to my own 401k this morning after thinking a lot about it and the age bracket that I am in. And I know we each have our own personal financial um, uh, backgrounds, choices, decisions, but I upped mine significantly as a... Um, uh, as an effect of the panel that we had on Tuesday. So it really got me thinking about my own financial situation. Um, oh, I should double this if I can, um, since I'm, you know, in a certain age bracket and ideally will retire in 20 years. And, um, you know, at last, uh, as Janine mentioned, there were women, women and a couple gentlemen, but women there in their twenties, I think women in their twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, 60s mm -hmm. so their 70s there may have there may have been women in every decade for uh you know for five decades or so so um so yeah so susan that's what that's what i did it had a great you know, great effect on me and i think that the um the outcome of the event is that it will also if it has not had already a lot of positive impacts on other women that were in the room and also a downstream effect on uh women that talk to their friends, talk to their family about the importance of uh, saving for the future. Some key takeaways I think were, you know, start early, it's never too late to start and um, kind of know your worth and be part of the conversation. Wow. So that was some of my key takeaways from the panel. And thank yeah. you so much to Echo Julia, thank you for um, making it happen. Well, it's my pleasure, I think. One lesson I learned through my life, but I hope other women just start thinking about 
you have to rely on yourself. It doesn't matter how wealthy you are or not. You just don't know what the future holds. And you have to get as much information as you can. And like I said at the panel, try to find out what it is you don't know ahead of time. You know, so... I was glad it made it, you know, a small difference. So hopefully that will have a ripple effect and, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. But Karen Rosales was really excited about it. And I'm going to be talking with her. Who knows down the road? She may want to do another one. So, but I thought the chemistry was good too with the panelists. I don't know if anyone picked up on that, but it, it seemed to flow well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I thought it did. It was it was great and very well paced. And I, I agree about the chemistry. Good. I just have to add one thing, Julia. I wanted you to know this. I this might be pro forma, but I got an email from the um, county manager's office, okay. uh, and Justin Beck. He wanted to know how many attendees we had because he said he helped work on the PR and the publicity and that sort of thing. So I told him we got probably 100 people registered. But of course, you know, it's like anything. Well, I think there were what, 20 ish in the room, 20, 25 ish. I, don't know. I, I counted actually. Mm -hmm. um, Thank so, you. Uh, not, not including the panel, there was 25 people in the room at the peak. Oh, and, uh -huh. uh, so if you add the panel in, just over 30. Right. Um, and then um, I was keeping an eye on the Zoom participant count too. Yeah. And there was uh, um, at the height that I saw 23 people. So oh, about 50 people. That's wow. good. Yeah. yeah. Which is if we had 100 regist registrants, right. registration so for a free event and 50% show up, that's on par. Oh, sure. And especially for the first time, you know, doing this, being a hybrid event, yeah. ex excellent, I think, right. all, in right. all right. aspects. <laughs> Good. And the brownies Good. were delicious too. Did you make those, Susan? Uh, no, a friend of Meg's did. I, I, tried, <laughs> I tried to steal one at the end, but you know, she brought them home. So, you know, one thing she brought, I wanted to ask you all, she brought little a little gift for each of the speakers. I mean, it was nothing. It was like a cup, but it had AAUW on it. Do we ever do anything like that or have anything somewhere? Well, for Women in Vision, I always. Um, give away my, the flowers that I design. Right. Um, and, you know, I keep that in mind, which jars and stuff, I put them in. Some yeah, jars. that's true. That was, that's really nice. That was nice. I remember. I still have my jars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really with that too. I mean, you have different, you know, it serves two purposes. Right. And you don't have to get your. Right. So if sure. Shows up and does a, a lot to help out. Yeah. Like, you too. Right. Really. It's kind of Nice. Nice. Yeah, also we haven't all met officially since Rally Gets Raped. So I just also want to add my shout out to mm -hmm. Caroline. That was also a very absolutely uh, successful moving event. I'm watching that documentary on Netflix, but I have to say I have to pace myself. Oh, oh the uh, the keepers or whatever. So I'm I'm telling you, my my brain fog between the smoke and perimenopause. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my niece's name. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that thing. The lady that I you got to speak, about, but yeah. So and, and that would be uh Teresa. Teresa. Yeah. If you guys are following um some, but there's storm 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 barnstorming barnstorming in, in Maryland. Mm -hmm. Uh the on the heels of the, the release of the Archbishop, the grand jury's investigation and the names, and they started releasing more names, people mm -hmm. that, that were alive, uh, and so they had their names redacted, and some of those names have come out, and have already left. I think there was an indictment, too, so it's, wow. it's, it's hot and heavy up in Maryland, which is it's good to watch. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like setting fire to shit. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, is that a legal term? <laughs> Did I use it right? Do I barnstorm? I, I just never heard it before, so I wanted to be kicking ass and taking names. I love it. For the record. <laughs> so I couldn't go, but my dad is in one year, so I'm not working. Uh, I just sort of missed it, but yeah. um, minus the wind. The wind could have taken a beat that day and been really great. 27th, right? 27th. Yeah, and having had two years off, 
you know, had had we have been in a good routine of like knowing like do this, don't do that, and like what works well and doesn't. And so having the ball and bringing it back together, I think it could have it, it couldn't have gone better for mm -hmm. that. So it was beautiful. Marguerite is, um, I think you said the same thing. How about determined to get us out of Gateway Park in the future? Uh, I think it's an ideal venue because I think that it needs to be outside, it needs to be open, and, and Gateway Park being close to DC, that would be just ideal. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we just find a connection at the airport to keep the airplanes from over top. And I guess parking is another issue with the yeah, park. parking, parking is a noise. It's kind of a walk from Rosslyn, it's like hard to get there. From yeah. yeah, the construction yeah. will hopefully be done by next year. But, yeah. but I was saying, um, I'm not going to get it right, but over by like where the Amazon buildings and Crystal City, and there's like a new water. Yeah. yeah. Long Branch Park. But we're going to have the same problem with the airport. Oh, yeah, yeah, the plane. But yeah. they, you don't, do you hear much? It's they not coming right over top of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Long Branch Park? Yeah. Yeah. Trains. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, Marbury was. Saying that she would help uh, Scout think of ideas for other venues. I think you have a alcohol there too. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can have alcohol there too. <laughs> okay, so um, that was a fun discussion of events, but or fun, meaningful. Also, but um, let's just go back and get these minutes either approved or not. Does anyone want to object um, to us? Uh, Voting on the minutes now, which would be fine. Or can we go ahead and um, hopefully approve them? Couple of minor typos that have all like a separate recording. Okay, that'd be great. We can still, we can change that after. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, <clears throat> great. Anyone else have any changes or? Okay, thanks for okay. taking the minutes, Kaylee. Yeah, and thanks, Rachel. As yeah, well. yeah, for yeah. tonight. Well, I'll thank you when you we approve those minutes. No, but <laughs> <laughs> she took one of these. Oh, she did. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, little we'll type <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can we? Um, uh, I never remember how we're supposed to vote on each different thing, but yeah, um, motion to approve the minutes. Thank you. Okay. okay. Awesome. Great. All in favor, say aye. 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 Say nay. Uh, all right, the ayes have it. Um, it's approved. Thank you. I didn't. Any abstentions? Okay, great. Minutes are approved, and we can move on. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about is um, speaking of not even Perry, but actual menopause, total brain fog. Um, <laughs> Y'all need to get rid of me. <laughs> I want a search committee. I think, you know, one of you all deserves to step up and become the next chair. Um, and you can be on the search committee and still volunteer yourself to be chair. Um, but I think it would be nice if we could just kind of think through who will be the next um, chair of the commission. And if any other officers want to transition, we can reach out and see how Margaret's doing. As long as she's willing to serve as vice chair, great. But if anyone else, you know, What's she just the search committee. So it would just be to find out who's interested possibly in serving as an officer and then, you I'm know, searching between other ones. Yeah. Those of us that yeah. Okay. Yeah. And anyone else not here today, but um, thoughts? I, my thought is to make it less formal. I think we're all adults, and somebody's interested, and we should just sort of move the conversation forward. Does I this search like recruiting capabilities? Like you would look in the neighborhood, or is it kind of? I mean, that's what one does, but I think this would be limited to current. I mean, you a member. To, uh, on the of the, the commission to be chair, okay. so, so it would have to like you know, have a CEO recruiting member. Yeah, <laughs> you could do that too. Um, I mean, we have open spots, right? Yeah. We do have open spots, and we've had an application or two. So, I mean, if the search committee is willing, they could also look um, at new membership applications because that's something else that needs to get done. Um, I like the idea of a committee just because it makes sure that we'll get this done. Um, and I also know that sometimes people don't don't always want to talk in front of like a full group. Um, I think the chair would have to. <laughs> <laughs> They're absolutely going to have to do it when they're chair, but they may want to they may want to chat about it with a colleague first, so yeah. they can be helpful. I don't know. That's how a lot of organizations do it. So 
in any event. Um, when does when do we when does the chair shift? When is your term expire? Yeah. Is it January or is it January or oh, January? Uh, I can check right now. That'd be great. Well, your term ending and the chair position ending is it doesn't different, have right? to be the same. I mean, honestly, it's not. not I, I meant the chair. My question was when is the chair, not the not your. I'm on my second year of being the chair. I'm happy to roll off of it whenever we get um, Sounds like my Girl Scout leader thing. Um, <laughs> a lot different. Not to minimize the chair. <laughs> some of the commissions, um, I don't know which one is one, but some are appointed in January and some are appointed in June or July, and some are board, uh, uh, they're all board appointed, but some are, the commission works with the board and then the board says, I, I think I we would to recommend to the board and yeah. then they will agree with whatever we suggest. Yeah. I guess. Um, and then they will confirm. Right. Yeah, yeah. That would be my guess. What are you thinking, Courtney? I think she looked at the bylaws. Yeah. 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 So the last one I had was from last June. So it seems like you were appointed in July. So I don't have an updated one, but this one ended July 31st of 2022. So I'm assuming that it was goes to, to, to July 30, 2023. Yeah. Yeah. The timing could be really good. So Courtney, quick question. July 31st of 2022, that was the, that's when Julia was inaugurated as chair? She was first appointed uh, July 16th, 2019. Oh, and then I believe in last year, that's when they asked again, they, well, they came to you and asked, and then you said, yeah, I'll go through it. And she was appointed to the commission in 2019. I don't remember that conversation. Not chair. Yeah, this is my second year as chair. Yeah. So that would have been re-upping me, I think, yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, so hopefully you look concerned. Someone, no, I, you're just doing the math. I'm not, yeah, no, I just say, can't stop. I don't have to let the watch. Hey, if you want to be chair, just say it. I'm just kidding. Well, not everyone is here at the moment. Yeah. So anyway, but is anyone willing to serve on the search committee? Yeah, sure. Okay. Great. You can't yet. Okay. <laughs> Did you put in an application for the commission? I have been absolutely blind with work. Um, this is literally the first day I've been able to step kind of outside. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, of course, it's like super smooth. Oh, um, but I'm actually I'm working on it right now. Oh, <laughs> good use of time. Right. Good use of time. Yeah. Exactly right. We can't, you know. Okay, wait. So who just raised their hands? I don't want to be on the search committee, but I'm happy to answer my questions about because I think you guys have only witnessed one chair, and I can tell you about what I've seen over the years in different chairs, so what the responsibilities yeah. could look like and how you could. What sounds good? Yeah, yeah. we took over from Stephanie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Stephanie moved, so she wasn't right. really. So um, she, yeah, she wasn't able to help you. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Marguerite was there, and that was, you know, she's a wonderful resource, and of course, Carolina is as well. So we, you know. Benefit from previous experience. Mm. I'll join the search committee if we can and either have wine or and or cigars. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring those cigars. <laughs> I think you guys, in order to, if you want to like all meet together, you would have to have Courtney, you know, announce it. Right, you have to send my. <laughs> I figure, you know. No. Otherwise, it's, I will have one by myself. Otherwise, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's one on one. You guys can meet one on one and discuss stuff. Maybe you have a spreadsheet on which you, you know, your thoughts. But that's I think about as much as we can do, right? Am I right about that? If it's two people, then right. two people can face it. Yeah, but yeah. if yeah. I don't, like, I'm one. one. It's fine. I'll muck it up. Yeah. So. So who's on the search committee now? Me, Rachel, no. Jordan. It's just me, Jordan. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. To avoid the. Gotcha. Yeah. We can. We'll, it'll be fine. Happy to be a resource. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> if you can picture safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's great. Are we going to have a deadline, Julia? I mean, in we terms really of. We really should. Um, when do you guys think you could maybe come up with a short list? I mean, Go ahead. The list is already short enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think they need to speak out to everyone. You just need to ask. Yeah. 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 Two weeks. Like, yeah. should we, we want to report back by the next commission meeting, right? Yeah. yeah. And we meet, we meet 
wow, we meet once a month, so next meeting is... Well, that brings up a good point. We don't always meet in the summer, but I guess it's up to the chair to determine whether or not we meet throughout the summer. I won't meet here in July, though. No, July. Out of principle. Okay. What do we do if, like, we go beyond when my term as chair is extended to? You know what I'm saying? Because we can meet. I don't know. Until we... Can we ask Stevie for, can I be an interim chair? Sure, I can ask her. That'd be awesome. Acting chair. Yeah, I can share. I think I served for four years, so I think we can go. I mean, I felt like longer than two years. So. <laughs> yeah, we can work on some things. We're not going to just dissolve because. Mm -hmm. we are. No. Thanks for being for chair and vice chair. Well, you'll we'll have to see next time. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's find out. I in the past didn't y'all have a treasurer as well at some points? No. I mean, maybe, but. <laughs> what? Yeah, and Marguerite doesn't want to be. Well, I don't know. But we're like, gonna, uh, a treasure or chair? Or? No, we don't need a treasure. Like Caroline said, let's try to find <laughs> a chair. I'm not sure if Marguerite would want to be chair again, yeah. uh, but I don't think so. Right. Yeah, yeah. I see yeah. yeah. impression. So, yeah. Uh, but we have a lot of newer folks who might be and might enjoy stepping up. Yeah. So. Uh, Okay, that sounds good. So actually that does bring up a separate question, which is, are we going to meet throughout the summer? And Courtney looked into it, I guess briefly, right? Yeah, I was gonna try to look in a chart, but I just asked Caroline what typically, cause that's usually what I get asked back whenever I ask a question, look in the charter, and then I go back to what was previously done. So if, if the consensus has been not to meet during the summer, like some don't meet in November, December, or August, so. And I don't know, I was 98% sure that it's not in the charter or cadence of meetings. Okay. Last year we didn't meet in August. Yeah. We met in July. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you guys rather? But we had the fair in August. In so August. it wasn't, we didn't have an activity. Yeah, we, yeah. Right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be helpful to you for us to meet right before the fair. What do you think of? I will not be here in August for the meeting because I plan my vacation around the fair. So oh, I would fair. say the fair is um, 18th, 19th, and 20th of August, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But so you won't be there on the weekend because you're bringing your child to college. Well, I have to drive my son to college on Saturday, but I'll be, I can be there Friday and Sunday. The fair starts Wednesday? No, it doesn't start till Friday. Like they ask us to set up on Thursday. Yeah, the outside starts, but we don't have to be there till Friday. Okay. And Marguerite said, right? Did she talk with you? She told me she'd be no. to help. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I I think it'll be fine, honestly. But um, but I do want to make sure we have coverage. Um, so anyway, I I would not be available for an August meeting, but um, you don't need to plan for me. Oh, and uh, but yeah, I think it goes out very happy to help however it came there. Amazing. Great. Great. Yes. Get over. Look at all that. I can help you out the time. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'll be around. And I have lots of stuff. Yes. <laughs> so that was good last year. I loved those stickers last year. Yeah. Um, okay. So, does anyone else have a preference as to July or August? Take one off. I said take both off. Well, we already just. Took a meeting off essentially. So you mean because we had no form, right? Is that what you mean? Well, no. The yeah. last one it was completely canceled. Yeah. May. Yeah. May. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I would suggest we meet in July, but not in August. Take off. Can if we we're going to meet, can we do virtual? You have the, we have the, we have one virtual meeting available. Mm. Yeah. Well, they have one. We have two. Yeah, let me check because I know it was um, December, mm -hmm. but that was I don't, yeah. I don't know if it's in the physical year or in the so. Let me just uh, check on that. The year that was. Oh, all right, great. Okay, well we'll suspend that. Courtney's gonna check. All right, um, Barbara, how are things going? Here? What help do you need? Um. Well, I think we need to either now or um, form a committee and figure out what we want to do. I mean, my suggestion would be, I thought last year's um, was good in its simplicity. I think a lot of the work we did, um, we didn't necessarily need, but it still sort of helped us. So I think we sort of distill it down to something simple. And, and the one that we had done, 
a few years previously was also a similar sort of asking the public for input via stickers is what I remember from that. Um, so last year, if you all remember, we had five issues and we asked people to vote by putting um, a toothpick in a jar. And we can use the ping pong balls too, which is yeah. which gives a, a better visual. Yeah, we could do that. We just well. have to get bigger yeah, jars. Did that two years ago we started with ping pong balls? would have had to have been oh, like no, five no. years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I guess my sort of immediate thought is, so we had the two issues that were top of mind that were chosen by the public. Shoot. The top one was reproductive rights. Is the other one child care? I think it, it was either economic or child oh. care. I think it might have been child care, actually. Um, so I was thinking we could delve a little bit more into one of them. Um, not sure how, though. I think there's something positive about the continuity of doing this sort of same activity every year, because then it does, I mean, obviously it's not statistically significant, but we are collecting kind of a sample from the community that is also our mandate to present issues to the county board that are up top of mind from the community. And it doesn't, like, so if we try, if we try to go deeper on the issue of childcare, there might be a whole segment of folks coming through the fair that that's not a relevant topic to. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and I guess it's conversation starters too, right? right? Like some people want right. to talk about X and other want to talk about Y. Yeah, and it, I, we also, it gets tricky like with reproductive rights. It's like, you know, what does the county even have jurisdiction over? Um, okay, yeah, that's a good point. Well, I guess then we should think about what what kind of questions do we want to ask? What are we interested in? Um, you know, last year was sort of an issue based. We could do something that is more, um, you know, how do people feel about, you know, X or what is the, I don't know, I'm blanking. I mean, kind of to Caroline's point, I think. Um, Maybe you could do a similar which of these issues is just pick of, different issues. Or different the same. Or the same. Or the same. Yeah. 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 You don't have to change it. Keep Literally, it you know, over the years you're gonna get, you know, charts issues going up and down. And was, yeah, yeah, I mean I don't think we have to keep the issues exactly the same if and you know hindsight we're like, well, maybe we wanna add this and see if that gets anyway. So we don't I don't think we have to keep it. It doesn't have to be rigidly the same. Right. But yeah. I think I think uh, I'm gonna do this that, that asking folks about the issues that are most important to them is. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm that's easy. Last year. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's easy. We you don't need to have read another that cup that's like, what's an issue that isn't here? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I like that. Right, right. Yeah, we did. We did have that. We, we got, um, you know, we got few, fewer people are willing to sit there and write something than yeah. they, they are. Like a smaller slip of paper. Like a post-it. Yeah. Post yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking too about like visuals and I can, like I've got all the stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's use it. And we can meet at the basement. We can go through the stuff wherever we yeah. uh, that, that we believe you. Oh, uh, we um, want to use that thing you had with the, uh, yeah. It, yeah. Our, I mean, I can recreate it, but it is. What's that so called? So pretty. <laughs> no, it's awesome. The backdrop. Yeah. 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 But though we believe you signed yeah. a separate piece. But anyway, yeah. what I was thinking yeah. is that, that, I don't know if you guys remember from the event, the, what are they called? Um, in the backdrop holder thing yeah. uh, did not work outdoors. They would be perfect indoors. And yeah. hold any yeah. size banner. Um, and like the banners that I had printed for the rally were like $40 or something. Okay. So you could, I mean, we could have one. So it doesn't have to be a standard commission women that we were talking about that we lost the old one we had, but yeah. just a sign that has. Oh, the brand stand. Yeah. Do we have a brand stand? Yeah, no, we, we don't. don't. We don't talk about No, her. those are more but what um, what she has is just like a canvas banner. Okay. And she already has the stand that we could use with the clips. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. Mm -hmm. Do we believe you? Yeah. So then, um, so that's freestanding. Oh, that's the rally uh -huh. And then there's a like a it's like a photo backdrop that you can put a banner on to just okay. draw people attention. Like, uh -huh. yeah. 
Tell yeah. what it, as opposed to my janky, literally hand drawn <laughs> sign. <laughs> but that's what we exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I realized but we I couldn't return the backdrops because um, they were past the return window. I now have five of them. I'm, I'm determined to use to them. To use them. Yeah. And it's great because they can be different heights and different widths. So we can even make it like, oh, we're going to put our questions up there. Anything that's like eye catching. And yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can make it something universal and we have money if we needed to buy a $40 banner. Do we still want to get it? And a, like the county sign, apparently, I mean, um, what, even if they give us a banner mm -hmm. to use, we can stick it on the backdrop if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 was upset last day that. that we didn't have a county yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. She could have yeah. given us one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> could you coordinate with the yeah. county yeah. office and just see, um, or with Brian directly, I guess, wherever you think is appropriate, just to see if they want to give us one? Because either way, whatever they want. To give us a banner, yeah, yeah. a CSW yeah. banner. Yeah, last yeah, last year they were. A little, Brian had just was a little bit like, why don't you have your? Like, we don't we don't have it. I don't. Know. Yeah, he's coming up. Yeah, I, I, saw, I, I found a B R Y N A. Yeah, I did find it. So it was repro rights, child care, pay equity slash economic empowerment, sexual assault slash sexual harassment, and then L G B T Q and gender non conforming equity. Um, and we, what were the issues we had that were cut? There was menstrual, mm -hmm. menstrual equity. You talked to the rights of child care? Or yes, no? yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we were right. Um, well, we get the committee to figure it out. Yeah, okay. Maybe we, maybe we add a couple in as opposed to. Well, we'll be lucky and finally decided to show up. <laughs> Um, okay, so who's, so Rachel is interested sure, in yeah, helping me think maybe. about it, Jordan, yeah. me, um, Caroline. Caroline, all right, Caroline. awesome. Um, if we make, if we can't make, is that? Oh, right, that could she, I'll table. <laughs> Do what? I'll table at the county fair. She's tabling. Well, yeah, and oh, I mean, uh, you can just kind of individually talk about stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean. The two of y'all can meet together yeah, yeah, in your basement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then I can meet separately. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So. Yeah. Okay. And so who who thinks they'll be here for? I know Marguerite, Carol, Abby, Jordan, yeah, Julia. If you're here this year? No. I don't know if I'm here. Um, okay. If Marguerite right. was here, she would say, we need rat cards. I was supposed to put ask about rat cards because they are in my March meeting minutes. <laughs> um, we have didn't we have them at Brown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we still have, have a small them. stack. Let's yeah. take them. Yeah, we have nothing last year. Do we need more? Um, Maybe that's what Marguerite would say. Is that we need more? Didn't we do something for? We're really against Spanish. We're really against Spanish. <laughs> what do we get? Yeah, yeah, you get <laughs> like the superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> like the superheroes. Like Enjoy. Yeah. Did we have we had a little material? Bit we may end up with menopauses, but the issue is good. Nobody talks about it. It's the worst. Oh, that is oh, oh, yeah, the worst. You're gonna catch it. You're gonna catch the menopause. Like I'm gonna send it. It's just like you're staring at burning rage. Burning rage. I am done with menopause, yo. So well, I am. I mean, but that means I'm forty. I'm sensitizing it early. Um, all right, I think we might have to add it to the. I think we definitely need to add it. There is a small but mighty group of women. Young sisters enjoy life while you can. Just like Bill had the the great span of interest in the financial planning stuff, I think this issue too could have similar because I mean we're yelling about it now, and then so when you guys are approaching, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, my friends talked about it, so I know what to expect. Versus women of our age, and we're getting blindsided because no one older than us is talking about it. And so eventually, we're going to break the cycle, and it'll be more commonly talked age about. Age forty yes. to like seven, forty to sixty, sixty-five. That's why I keep saying, why did Judy Bloom not write about this? Yeah, that's a good point. She did like, <laughs> period. Yeah, she yeah. did like young adult lust. She did the yeah. wifey book. So where's her menopause book? Yeah, I think um, women's health issues whatever they are, and we can brainstorm more, but perimenopause, I think, would probably, I bet we have a line out the door. Yeah. I was going to say, we, 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 it would be interesting to do a panel on that, like we did the financial panel, just like gynecologists or women's health experts, because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we just 
aren't learning about, and I'm totally off the agenda topic. No, that's okay. I was about to go off too. Who was it that wrote? Uh, I feel bad about my neck. <laughs> Oh, that's my book. Y'all should look up. It's very fun. I feel bad about my neck. neck. Oh, I haven't even heard that book. Yeah, okay. about like the one on the beach. Hang on, I'll look it up while we're uh, um, fair. Uh, but, but I think even like the way they were posing the questions for the the fair, you know, because they, what kind of issues are are you both as things that we should explore from like a policy perspective, but also because we information panels and we put on programming and is this the kind of you know what kind of things would you want to hear more about because I think it's two different angles like is reproductive rights really an issue in, in our area we don't know right there's not even a clinic I mean we could that. also generalize it to women's health generally right that's a broader topic okay it's and Nora it's, Efron guys yeah I love her about my neck put that yeah. in the, yeah. the way we <laughs> it's hilarious and entertaining and somewhat short book it's the perfect book for women of a hang on a second opening <laughs> it would be fun I'm to do sure. like um, a book club. Yes. Yeah, like pick a book on like women's <laughs> health thing. Yes. Yeah, and do like just have like a so so uh, partner with a library or a bookstore. Especially since they just opened. The I know it looks so yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. And we can start our menopause awareness month. When is yeah. that? We're gonna make one. Oh, one. Yeah. Can we make menopause awareness a year? Right. From the age of my neck. Is that what it's called? Right? I, I think it's um. It's, it's called exactly. I feel bad about my neck. I feel bad about my neck. By Nora Ephron. Um, what? Julia, what's it called? I couldn't hear. I feel something. bad about my neck. Have you read it, Susan? Oh no, I've never I heard her of that. I feel notoriously bad life as an older woman. As a tool on your research project. Anxiety, activity, <laughs> all those fun things that happen that no one told you about. Really? <laughs> I feel like that. it's the same thing no, with like thinking. childbirth, though. Especially like the aftercare. Like, or no one says anything. No. And now they're all just like <laughs> TikToks and like, Worse. I have to That's wear right. full underwear. <laughs> 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 we could do a panel that like covers women's health through. Like, and I think I think um, we could even do not this maybe not this year but do like a quarterly like women's health for women that are pregnant or planning to be pregnant in the next whatever um, maybe one on infertility and just sharing resources about that and then maybe one can you write down these ideas sure um, um, and then um, like in your um, child reproductive years like pre, not premenopause but like I don't know calm before the storm yeah <laughs> Do we want to just have our fair time. survey on like which of these women's health issues is of most interest? I mean, there's really something for everything in that. I don't know that we even need to survey it. I think there we just could even just do like everyone is a series. I mean, like there's women in Arlington. They're having these issues. Yeah, especially yeah. since like it just depends on your age mostly, like which issue matters most to you. Well, well, yeah, which which issue matters most, most to you today? But it, you're gonna hit all of them at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they all matter. It's yeah. Just, well, no, and it's good to know ahead of time. Yeah. And also, like, thinking about, like, our time constraints and resources and, like, knowing, like, which kind of are at the top of the list, like, maybe to prioritize, like, or just getting, like, a general sense. Uh, maybe we could just run yeah. one a year. Yeah. Or even, I mean, I do like the quarterly. Like quarterly. Yeah. I mean, then we could do a lot of, oh, I was thinking kind of like the cycle of, like, our life cycle of, like, I mean, like your 20s, like you like you're like if you live to be 80 every 20 year, no, or or just like you like you get your <laughs> you get you get your period. You uh, everyone would like you to have a baby, whether you choose to or not, or whether it's possible or not. Um, and then you you know you have your um, you know breast health, and then um, and breast health is what you said, yeah, you're right. And then um, peri and menopause. Yeah, and I think that that's how I was thinking that's about like it. That's like four issues that would be mm -hmm. like great to have four panelists for like a panel. Yeah. Can we repeat those four issues for like, a panel, please? Like, period. Um, per yeah, periods. Oh, Just like. Fertility and infertility. Yeah. Right? Breast. And reproduction, breast. And yeah. Let's not forget. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think a, a, a subcomponent of every one of those phases is mental health. 
And then with periods, um, you could also do like, like uh, endometriosis. Mm, wonder if we could get a partner in like um, Virginia Hospital Center I'm or something like that. that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, okay. It's not periods. Is, there's got to be a better like a name for that. Menstrual. Um, menstrual. Yeah, I was like, it's not menopause, but the the yeah. trend word. <laughs> yeah, menstrual health slash menstrual equity and awareness. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, but do you all think? Well, that goes on one panel. Or no. Do you think we have a different panel on each. And mm -hmm. like, or we could combine like two of them. Right. Right. Like, it's true. Four is a lot. Yeah, four is a lot. But I, I don't know about a panel just on like menstrual health because it would be. Or just on breast yeah. awareness. Yeah. Seems like. Yeah. Can I add one or two things? Uh huh. Uh, just as a trigger from the financial panel, it, what you're talking about, it's not, we're beyond the county fair, right? We're talking about a future panel. Yeah. Yeah. I think since we look hopefully after the economic, the mental, the physical health of women, that we owe it to the younger women who are coming up just to be aware of different issues besides menstruation and you know all the various parts of getting older and I know this might be stepping on a minefield but I think the nature of the direction of the Supreme Court and the courts are shrinking the options for women and maybe at some point we could think if it appeals to you all you know to say we're here we're you know, we have our antennae out, our radar ahead of us. These are just things you might want to think about in terms of a career choice or whatever. That's my spiel. You lost me. I really lost there for a minute. I think I'm still lost. It, well, it, it's a different topic than health. I think... What's the topic? The topic is... Well, the broad topic is the future, the economic future for women, young ah, women. What right. are the options going to be if the choices are shrinking? And More why are the choices be shrinking? Oh, you mean reproductive choices? No, I'm not talking. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if this is within our purview. I'm talking, I'm not just talking about health choices. I'm talking about your economic ability to have a productive life to have a voice yeah that seems like kind of a, an oversight <laughs> what could yeah maybe it's part of a whole discussion of you know reproduction and reproduction yeah all right well circling back to the fair yeah um, so <laughs> do we have consensus that we should do roughly the same style as last year, include possibly some of the same issues, but also maybe add a couple more? Is that right? Should we drop any of the ones we had last year? If anyone, if people don't feel strongly, then I'll just connect with the people who volunteered for the, what's the room? I don't the think list? we need to. The list was repro rights. We, we can very carefully narrow it down to five. So the list in order of um, how many people chose them as most important. Reproductive rights, child care, pay equity, slash economic empowerment, sexual assault, slash sexual harassment, and LGBTQ and gender non-conforming equity. Oh, this was so great. Yeah, and of course everyone was like, why, why I can't choose? That's what she was talking yeah. about yeah. as for economic. Um, yeah. Well, she said it was shrinking, which is not. Yeah. I think she means it's there is Supreme Court decisions, um, options for young women may shrink, um, yeah. but yeah. it's hard to predict exactly. I think we should keep it the same. Yeah. I know LGBTQ issues. All right, I'm adding like, menopause. Yeah. So. Oh my God. <laughs> menopause. Yeah. I mean, we we don't have health care per se in there. So. Yeah. Why don't we just agree that the committee will? Yeah, figure it out. Okay, yeah. I like that. All right. I like. I don't. I wouldn't remove anything from that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. Either. I know okay. LGBTQ okay. issues got the least, but I think it's a good way to connect with the younger kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and it, it's, it's sparked conversation. 
Yeah. So it was it was very interesting. Okay. All right. So that's good. And I will reach out to Rachel and Carolyn. Um, and I do have one update because I noticed it was in the minutes for both the last two months. I think I sent an email around, but APS did put menstrual um, machines in the schools in the middle school and awesome. wow. the high school. Wow. Dispensers that you. have free products. They often run out, but <laughs> but they're working on it. So these steps mean they're right. being used? Yeah, no, my, right. my daughter texts me. Well, I shouldn't say this on a public phone, but oh, there's period. I love that. <laughs> yeah, and then I noticed them also. Um, but yeah, that's good. Awesome. Well, bravo. So, yes. Yay, finally. Really? So, next year now we need them in county buildings. We need them in the libraries. Yeah, middle school. Middle school. Come along. We need them in. Um, yeah, we need them in all the public. Can I just say thank you to those of you who went to the budget meetings and spoke up? I mean, Gosh, thank you, Arbor. Oh, yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. In fact, with this issue, but it did get the attention of the county board members. They were yeah. they were not aware of that. Um, Takas especially, Mr. I grew up in Europe. <laughs> right? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> so, anyway. Okay, are there other fair issues that we should talk about? I don't think so. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll reach out and we'll, um, do we have to fill something out? I was say, we already slotted. No. We got I'll, I reached out. I'll okay. reach out to Justin. I think yeah. it was just that he just reached out to me and said, "Hey, yeah. come on." Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'll reach out to Justin. Yeah. Awesome. And then we filled out this form saying all the supplies we wanted, but they didn't give us any of them. So. <laughs> oh, they did. They did. No, we just had a table, which Marguerite knew was how it would go down, and you probably knew that too. But I was like, "Wait, why did I take the, the time to fill out all these things?" Fun times. I, I won't do that this year. <laughs> well, you're going to reach out to Justin to see if we have a slot at the fair or we already have a slot. We just need to be scheduled. Yeah, I'll reach out to Melinda that we're interested in participating. Last Got year, it. I think they just reached out to us. I'm not sure why. Uh, did you do it before? Yeah, yeah but I don't know why they would have last year, not this year. So maybe it hasn't happened yet, but it seems a little late. Yeah, I did to reach out. Yeah, yeah, I'll reach out. Yeah, just reach out and basically say we're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Give us a table, please. We'll be there. And a banner. <laughs> right. And a tablecloth. No. <laughs> I can bring a tablecloth. Um, um, are you going to bring stickers? We're back to porn rack cards. I kind of left them at the table. I'm sure. Okay. Great. Right, so I threw it's them in, in the garbage. CSW rack card. Should we say about that? Or? Probably have enough. We should revisit it after. Okay, great. Bye -bye. Where did you get the porn looks printed? Canva. No, where did you get the printed? No, Canva. Like Canva printed. Yeah. 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 Project Peace yeah. used them too, like all their stuff has little Canva. Oh, yeah, that's oh, very, oh, oh, interesting. I paid for like a one month of Canva so that I didn't have to get the branding on it. Mm. Oh, I yeah, I have a premium too. Well, I couldn't buy it for a month, I'd buy it for a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I think it was a, maybe a free trial. Um, well, I'm sure my lawyer would be it. <laughs> do we need do we need funding to buy more credit cards? How much more than? It's thirty five dollars, I think, for like fifty. It, um, it's kind of expensive. If we have lead time, we should probably utilize the county for printing. It's probably cheaper. Yeah, but we need to give more time than I did for. I'm they, so they can the county do the rat card and it's not just paper but it's more about um they should it's it's shock. Shock. Yeah, yeah yeah like this material they have a hole but they're like rectangular you know yeah you just give me the measurements i can can she just give you a rat card yeah and well they need the the file the yeah the, well, that too yeah the the, the file is set yeah, up yeah true but it's set up it's the set measurements up the, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so i just send it to them because they'll time. just cut it Cool. All right, Carolyn, can you connect? Awesome. Thank you. So Carolyn's going to give the rat card file to Courtney. Is that what you just established? Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. And um, what should we get? Well, can you just let us know how the if they I don't know if they print it on like 
one piece of paper and then cut it, or if they print it on that size, so then we can tell you quantities. Or actually, we said we need 100. Yeah, just tell me. We need 100, however we get to that number. Is that enough? Yeah. Mm, there's like 80,000 people to go to the fair. Let's get to. Well, we had, yeah, we had 900 people do our survey. So wow. Let's get 500. 500. <laughs> I mean, they won't all, we don't want them all to take rack cards. No, but no, we, we, we need, need them, them for. Yeah. yeah. It's like a year so yeah, yeah, I think we should get 500. 500. Yeah, yeah I'm as yeah, we should probably be willing to see or are we over asking more? more thing. Um, I don't think. Would be paying more. Oh, so I'll free. just ask because I thought that that was part of their supplies too. Because they typically ask, "Hey, what did you? Do you need anything printed?" And I thought we sent something to them to be printed. Ever, did we? For last year? Nope. Oh, we didn't have. Let me let me just follow up and I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Um, we were. I mean, it was the first. Well, it wasn't the first year. It was COVID, but it was our first. Booth. It was our first. Yeah. So okay, great. Oh, sorry. One thing from last year, we've already said it, but we had like multiple different sheets for people to like fill out for like a variety of things. And I feel like if we could condense that to one page, it would be easier because we started to lose people after like the first page. They were yeah. able to like balance. Yeah. 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 We just had the two different things, but yeah, and I think you're right. Like short and sweet is helpful because it's already yeah. hard to get them to. Yeah. Well, most people just did the toothpick and then would chat. But then we had, you know, I think we had like a hundred people who f would fill out the why is this important, you know. Then we followed up with the Marguerite and I diligently followed up with all of them and you got did. nothing. Yeah, we yeah, did. Cause, well, well, because some of them won. We sent everyone the email saying these were the results. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. And then some of them wanted a personal follow up from a commissioner, so oh, wow. we did that um, mm -hmm. and didn't hear back. But you know, that's okay. We we yeah. tried. Um, but yeah, no, I think point taken. Like the, I think and there's also like help with like creating like a QR code if they want to fill a digital survey. Yes. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah. Okay, Lee, you'll do the QR code for the digital survey. Mm -hmm. And you just put like in a picture frame or something. Exactly. Yeah. Or make it survey. Or whatever you use. Okay. My Google form is utilitarian. <laughs> so we should have something on that form that says, like, do you want to come to meetings or be part of our commission? Yeah, oh, that's really yeah. good. Yeah, maybe you, you could have a separate QR code for just like to be shared. Um, well, we can have a question and then have it go into a different one, and so it's almost like a block, because then you don't have to put it through the same if they say no yep. to, like, I don't want yep. to be a block. Yeah. That sounds complicated, but yes, you're hired. <laughs> um, yeah, we had 902 people visit and vote on their show, wow. and we had um, about 50 people that filled out the survey, what should the CSW do about this issue? Uh, and then we had the financial literacy surveys, the other one we had, and we only had about 20 people. Um, well, I was going to ask a question about a different topic, so I was just... Okay. Yep, no, that's it. Um, the wrap. You mentioned that we have applications that need to be reviewed. One or two? How many do we have? I think it was one. Just one. Okay. okay. Just one. That's not it. We need more. And one more box. There's one more coming. <laughs> All right. one more so by the next meeting, we'll need to review some applications. <laughs> Lots of questions. Did you give your blood sample yet? <laughs> you I, define, I defined a resume from February of last year, but I'm trying to think of special skills currently. Yeah. Um, machine learning? Just, a, just throw it out there. It's <laughs> already on the resume, so I was like, and it doesn't really apply to the, the job portion. It doesn't help with community involvement, I'll tell you that much. Sure does. Uh, hey, do you see all this data we're collecting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Done all the skills, it's fine. Just make sure you don't put that you want to be on ITAC. Uh, information Technology Committee. Well, oh, yeah, I picked Status Woman already. That was. <laughs> I don't want to lose her to someone else. Oh, <laughs> I'm coaching. <laughs> okay, do we have other topics that we need to cover? Any other news announcements? Oh, there's any already. Um, 
too late, but uh, tonight, the we were, sorry, we were talking about Virginia reproductive rights and is it even an issue here in Arlington. Tonight, uh, the Alexandria Commission and the Fairfax County Commission partnered for a discussion on abortion access across the Commonwealth. Um, I'll reach out to Phil and see if they have a recording or uh, something. That would be um, But uh, Alexandria is having their 50th anniversary celebration. I saw that. Here. Yeah, and I was like, oh, ours too. The commission? Is that 1974, I think? Okay. Right, so next year, is that right? Next year, yeah. Isn't that party? We should. Mm -hmm. We should have a party. Because yeah. it's yeah. time to plan it. Yeah, um, but at, at, oh, you did, at the breakfast, um, which was such good energy. It was so amazing. What so was this? this? Um, the um, in March that I missed. The uh, <laughs> Fairfax <laughs> County Mission on Status of Women did a Women's History or Women's yeah, Women's Month breakfast. Oh, invited nice. all the local commissions. Oh, yeah. cool! It was it was so lovely. It was nice. so and and amazing. Was hot. Um, it was hot. And um, Phil Woods, who's uh, we all got invited, so I missed this. Yeah. Yeah, Courtney sent it. Well. <laughs> and then I repped for us. We all each commission spoke for like three minutes or less or something. Yeah. But, um, so the commissioner, the head. The NBC was there too. From, yeah, NBC. We all sat at the table together and we were all like, we should do more programming together. together. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you do? What? I have no idea. Oh, I was going to say, so, and then um, Phyllis and their student intern for their commission in Fairfax and her mom uh, all showed up at the rally, which was awesome because um, we had kind of connected about stuff. Anyway. It was just nice to, so we said again we should all get our commissions together, which has been a struggle in the past. But I think now that we've all like at least met I've met them and that we've all sort of connected that it would increase our chances of Loudoun County have one? Yeah. Do they, they have do, a, but theirs is yeah, more. it's like a um, it's not like a it's like a business, a nonprofit more than a commission. As as how I understood it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's a city of Falls Church too. Right, I think they were there. They were there too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was if you, yeah, everyone. Nova, Nova, like Prince William, Loudon, and everybody north. Biden. Um, and DC. Um, the panel we were just discussing that would be a great thing to partner. Oh, for sure. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, we could, yeah. Because and we could like rotate. Yeah, exactly. yeah, true. Exactly. It's full sure. And we could own it with. You can't get an abortion. We could own it with all of the commissions for the region and do like a hybrid model. Yeah. And I'll just say too that um, I took advantage of the microphone because the, the prompts that we were asked to speak to were like, what's something you guys have done? And we had just done Women of Vision uh, and what are you working on or something, whatever. And so I, I talked about the work that one of our commissioners had done on revenge porn mm -hmm. and how she had checked into the laws and was kind of written up bad. And we were working on, anyway, I made it. Thank you. You're welcome. And, but anyway, <laughs> when going back to the table, everyone was like, what? And even um, Dahlia. I'll check. I'll check. Thank you. Um, was at the table at one point and was like, I need to look into that. So I got attention. Good job. This yeah. is what Caroline spoke about. Oh. That's Ooh, awesome. Wow. Making a difference. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I will say, Fairfax. Oh, I can't read this. I can't read this. I can't read this. Revenge Porn Task Force, Women of Vision Awards, Nova in Washington, D.C. Take Back the Night, April 27th. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah. They had, um, whoever the, the company was, where the thing was held. Lightos. Light, Lightos? Lightos. Oh, is it Lightos? Oh. Oh. I mean, come on, like that made a huge difference. Yeah, the space was really pretty, too. That's and I guess they hurt. paid for the food, the food, the food was the very nice. It is Lightos. But I mean, we all know. Yeah. 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 We had VIP parking, too, which was nice. I mean, it was just, they, they did it right. Um, is one of the commissioners working at Lidos, obviously. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Commission. Um, and then, but then there was a there's a, a company in Alexandria that's women owned that uh, bakes is a bakery. I yes, think. together we bake. Together we bake. That's a nonprofit. Yeah. Holy shit. And so everyone got a bag of chocolate chip cookies yeah. from there. Yeah. I don't know how we partner with Let's them, but we need to make sure yeah. we did, the cookies were. Oh no, yeah, they're I yeah, know, yeah they're a nonprofit. I went with Alexandria. I went to their human trafficking event. I think in yeah. January, and they. Had like these fake goods as well yeah. from the nonprofit that was donated. It's for women that are like formerly incarcerated. Yeah, and they, they put the money back in just yeah. more programming for them. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And you can, you can, I just buy them with a woman from there today because I'm hoping to hire her. So, yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. 
um, yeah, if you are ever looking for a, a local gift, you can buy them online. You can order them in packs of like, I think two to a dozen and they come in like really beautiful packaging. Yeah, I think I was um, sustainable. Like Bennett Parker was one of yep. the founders. Oh, how cool is that? TWB. Yeah, full circle. Yeah. So this is called the Fairfax County Women's History Breakfast. Is that what we're yeah, the Fairfax yeah. Commission on the Status of Women. Right. Well, it was like Women's History Month. It was just that, yeah, they just had history breakfast, yeah. women's history month breakfast. Oh, and the lady from the um, women's suffrage. Oh, oh, wait, it's women's month. Oh, yeah. So it was women's month. Yeah. Yeah. on um, the newscast in the month called women's history month. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, it is. I thought it was women's. Mm -hmm. it sh it sh I feel like it should just be called women's month. I feel like, <laughs> like can we? Women's history. Oh, and today. Yeah, women, women <laughs> past, present, future. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, it's like AAPI Heritage Month. Yeah, that's Ooh. a good one. Like, that's a good and it's, actually. And it, now it's a. It's not like Female Heritage Month or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hawaiian. There's a, Hawaiian Pacific. Hawaiian Pacific. Hawaiian Pacific. No, Hawaiian Pacific. no, no. There's, another, there's like another letter in there now. For which one? AAPI? Yeah, it's like really? AAP. Oh, I saw it and I was like, what is this? Oh, uh, uh, oh, no. Is it an American Indian? No, I think it's Desi. That oh, that's Indian. That's Indian. Yeah, Indian. I think it's AAP. Desis were added? I think so. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a Okay. No, but Desis are part of, it's part of Asia. Asia. Exactly. Oh, Asia. Asia. Okay. Yes. Oh, Desi American, Desi's got their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that I think is new for this year. And I didn't, um, so my I need a newsletter. So be into, um, Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Oh. Of, of prevention. I, I, don't, I don't know if Project Peace started, but that's where I started hearing it, and I confused the heck out of people by throwing it in there and using it. But I don't want to not use it and not be inclusive. Right, it right. Up. But instead of being Sam, now it's Sapham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm not joking. That's how they say it. Oh, for Sapham. Month. I said for Sapham? Month. Sexual Assault Prevention. Sexual Assault Prevention Month. Sapham. Sexual Assault Awareness and oh, Prevention Month. Mimic Sapham. It's just not a good act. Yeah, I mean, I like the I like the thought. I love prevention. It's super prevention. important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, you don't want it to be spam. spam no. So <laughs> it's spam month. Yeah, that's right, spam month. All right. Okay. Um, all right. I want to get you all out of here at a reasonable hour. So do we have other? Yes. I have follow up regarding the question about the virtual. Okay. Um, right. So so it works that um, it's the calendar year. So January first to December thirty first. Um, you can either meet two virtually or 25% of the meetings, whichever is the highest rounded up. So if this commission meets 11 times a year, then you would be able to have three virtual meetings in the calendar year. Oh my gosh, that's bad. But we have to decide ahead of time that it's going to be virtual or can we? Yeah, I have, to now, I have to announce it like at least uh, three or five days before. So like the day of, you can't switch to virtual. Mm -hmm. Right, so there's like a form issue we can't, we can't roll into. Um, well, virtual. yeah, you have to make form virtually. Yeah, but like we have to decide. We have to decide. We could first, do yeah. July virtual, and we could just skip August, and that mm -hmm. would yeah. that would work. And then we would still be able to do like December time. virtual, like we right. yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Courtney, you said we could meet virtually three times or twenty percent. No, so it's it's no. two times or twenty five percent of that time. So whichever is the highest. So this case, if you, if you should do it in September. So since you guys since we meet oh, eleven times, times so that's gonna be <laughs> three times, three virtual three meetings times. per calendar year. I was thinking that we haven't had one yet. So so right, right. The last one was December, which was last right, calendar year. Right. So we can do so we can do three. We can do July. No, twenty five. Just three, three and then three. Okay, three. We get three. So we can do July. We can do December, and then we get one more. And we get one. We've got someone here lobbying for September because that's the start of school. Well, we won't have met. We don't August, meet though, to although we'll be at the we'll have it there. Well, I would say let's wait and see. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm fine with September. Are we voting on this? We're not. No, voting. no, no. Okay. no. But definitely July. I think <laughs> we do December. Yeah. Isn't it we fun have to do this side? No, we used to a holiday party before. or something. Yeah. yeah. We used to, I like that idea. Just in case, guys, we got to decide before yeah. August meeting if she needs advance notice, well, and it's September is one of the options. Well, now now we're clamoring to have December in person so we can party. Have a holiday party. What, what day of the week does it fall on? I mean, oh. what? Yeah. Are we talking about December right now? When we December, 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 
Thursday. No, no, it's, it's, it's the second Thursday. 14th. It's the second so, Thursday of the month. Yeah. It, Kids are still in school, so that's good. It starts yeah. on a Friday, so yeah. The, yeah, the school's out on um, that's, that's during exams. Yeah, I don't know. That's during exams. Yeah. Uh, we can just roll virtual. I mean, not that you should plan everything around in advance. No, one I was going to do would be this Thursday. I'm going to kill you. Right? And I'll be here to pick you up. That's yeah. Cool. The, um, well, in past years, pre COVID, we did have at least once in January. So that's, that's a good that's idea. That's an option if we do. So oh, like ours was ours like in February this year for my firm. We did like celebrate a, um, Jordan's first semester done. Yeah, oh my she doesn't have a long January break probably. So you'll be out. Yeah. Oh yeah, so like January twenty second or something. I'm sure. Yeah. Give you a holiday relief party. Yeah. I <laughs> yes. And I'm I'm so excited of January events. Yeah. January is so dead. Yeah. 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 And we can re gift. We can make a re gift. Yeah. I love that. And I won't be in school. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're doing virtual December? I believe it would be January 11th. Oh, we're just I, think that yeah. I mean, okay. it'll reset entirely. Yeah. By January, yeah. So. That's true. Mm -hmm. but, but, um, I like January 11th. Okay, so we have virtual December, virtual July. We get one more. Are you guys... Um, I don't like virtual. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> you can be virtual. We have yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come yeah. in virtual. Use it or lose it. Yeah. And then in case of nuclear army, then we'll still have one in our back pocket. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. So I, let's not book them all. Right. Okay. Do we book anything? No. Yeah, July. 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 Yeah, we're meeting, meeting at the yeah. Yeah. No meeting in August. Is that a musical? Mm -hmm. okay. um, or do we decide virtual December or no we yes. decide that? Yes. yes. We did. Yeah. Virtual yeah. December. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Love that. Love that for us. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, anything else? Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, if there is anything else. Um, Y'all can email the entire commission. And I see you guys next in person. I'll be in school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Other than the and then, like, like Jackson, next time we see you, will you be, yeah, you'll yeah. have your application? I was going to say, first yes. to review. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, that's good. And if anyone, so, um, if anyone on the uh, yeah. and then I'll call, call is interested in helping out at the fair, let me know. Sorry about that. No. No worries.